Fusion Mobile Quality e learning experience on the go. Okay, electric field 2. So, that's current electricity. Here we are now dealing with moving charges. And for you to talk about moving charges, there is a certain pressure that makes it to move, and that is what we call electromotive force. Electromotive force is the magnitude of the potential difference of both the external circuit and the inside of the cell. It can be said to be the potential difference or the work done in taking a unit positive charge round a complete circuit. That is electromagnetic force. It is represented with E, which is equal to small letter V plus capital letter V. Small letter V can be I small letter R plus I big letter R. So E is equal to I bracket R plus R. That is electromotive force. The potential difference between any two points in a circuit is the work done when one column of charge moves from one point to another within the field. So, taking it from that point, before I introduce Ohm's law, I want us to also know about current. Current is the charge flow rate. The number of charges that flow per second or per time. Now, there is a law that governs electricity that brings current and potential difference together. This law states that the electric current flowing through a metallic conductor at constant temperature is directly proportional to the potential difference between them. That means V is directly proportional to I. And since proportionality is a dummy sign, we introduce a constant. So V is equal to IR. This is Ohm's law. Now, Kirchhoff's current law. Many of you will see this as you are entering your year one. And it's better you have the introduction now. Even though they may not ask you now, but it's good you know. Kirchhoff's current law says that the algebraic sum of the current flowing into any junction n is zero. The sum of the current flowing towards a junction n is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from the junction. So the net current there is zero. Why Kirchhoff's voltage law? The algebraic sum of potential difference in any closed loop, including those associated with EMF, and those of resistive elements must equal zero. The algebraic sum of the EMFs in any closed loop of an electric network is equal to the algebraic sum of the voltage in that loop. Now considering that, we have some equations I would also like to mean it out. One, like a summary, first of all Ohm's law v is equal to ir secondly emf is equal to i bracket r plus r where small letter r is the internal resistance capital letter r is the resistance of the load from there we can get i to be equal to e all over capital letter r plus small letter r and from that point, before we go into magnetism, I would like us to discuss the arrangement of resistors. In arrangement of resistors, we have the series arrangement. In series arrangement, the equivalent resistor is given as the sum of all the resistors. That is R equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus in that manner while in parallel arrangements we have 1 over R to be equal to 
1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus in that manner. So we said the inverse of equivalence in parallel is the summation of the individual inverse resistors that we have. So now, as we have done justice to arrangement of resistors, I would like you to join me immediately in magnetism. But before then, pick up your textbook immediately or log into www.fundabaik.com and listen or take care and read the measurements equipments of electricity like potentiometer wisdom bridge meter bridge and all the rest of them and take proper calculation of all their parameters have a wonderful time meet you in the class of magnetic